Welcome back to Oshkosh today. Thanks again for joining us. Now we've taken a little trip over here to the Oshkosh Area Community Pantry. I'm here with Terry Green uh, and she's going to tell us a little bit about where we're at right now and some of the things that they offer. So first of all, Terry, thank you so much for having us out here today. Yes, great. So you're in the Oshkosh Area Community Pantry yes. and we're in the St. Vincent de Paul building on 2551 Jackson. Mm -hmm. So we share the building. So we are on the left side when you come in the front door and we are open on Mondays three to seven, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 to three, and then we're closed on Fridays, but open then again on Saturday from nine to one. Excellent, so we're here at the Community Pantry. It might seem kind of self-explanatory, but maybe you can kind of explain to us a little bit what it is that happens here. What do you guys do here? Sure, so what the pantry is, it's a resource for people who are, they feel like they don't have enough food on the table mm -hmm. for themselves or their families. So what they can do is they can register for the pantry and they can shop just like a grocery store. So everything in the pantry is a point and we offer a point system. So a family of four would get 25 points, for instance, and they would get 25 items. So we have fresh produce and the produce is zero points. We want people to take as much as possible because that's a good balanced family dinner if you oh, can do something like that. Definitely. And yeah. you've got a lot of produce, produce for people to come yes, have too. Yes. Um, so exactly, we got into the produce a little bit, so what else is available here? Um, what kind of a variety have you got for people to choose from? So like I said, we have produce and we have beautiful meat. Mm -hmm. So all the meat is frozen and we have beef, pork and chicken and we even had turkeys from Target, yes. which was kind of an interesting um, change and we don't often get that. But we have a baking aisle, we have uh, noodles and we have uh, the green beans and all that stuff. So it's just like a grocery store, we have it set up the same way. Uh, we focus a lot on kids. As you can see, we're in the kids' corner right the kids now. kids' corner, yes. yes. What a cool area we have here, which was recently redone. Recently redone, thanks to the Service League. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, try to, to teach children a little bit about nutrition mm -hmm. and let them pick their own foods from here. Uh, we look at serving sizes so people know, the little kids know that, hey, you can have chips if you want them, but this is a serving size, mm -hmm. not this. So we've been really lucky to have about 200 kids come through here on a monthly basis wow. and it's, it's very exciting for them. They get to pick, they do their weighing, and uh, the parents like it as well. So mm -hmm. it's, it's kind it's of a nice little mini market. It in is. There, really. It is kind of teaching people from an early age, you know, what's important exactly. as you're shopping. Um, and you know, you've got a, a lot of other things here. And you were just explaining to me too how important it is to have that variety. Uh, maybe you can explain that a little bit for our viewers. Um, sure. The importance of that. Sure. Variety uh, empowers people to make choices, and the choices based on their family life, their ethnicity, whatever the case may be, their health even. Mm -hmm. So if we have more variety in the pantry, then people have more choices that will better suit their diets and that sort of thing. So we really try to get a variety, even if it's just six of one thing and five of another, um, it just gives people a lot of options. Yes. And I mean, all these options, all this variety has got to come from somewhere. So where exactly do all these donations come from? Everything comes from the community. We are just about 100% community donations through businesses, through people like you and I that just want to do something to help people because they know they're struggling. Um, we also do get some grants from the state, but they're they're small compared to what we have to do with just the community and businesses. So. Right, so heavily dependent on the community. Heavily, and volunteers as well. So when we talk about the amount of food that comes in the pantry and goes out, we had 1.2 million pounds walked out last year. Volunteers have to take that in as well as put it out. So uh, we need volunteers all the time. We have a staff of four people and it just we just can't do it. We can't do it all. It just, just doesn't happen on its own. It and, does you know, not As we're happen. walking around, everything is organized so nicely and arranged nice and oh, neatly. Oh, thank you. Um, and maybe we can get into a little bit about uh, the people that use your services. What do you have to do to qualify to be able to take advantage of this beautiful pantry here? Sure. So we want to be a food resource for people. So mm -hmm. all they have to do is come in and register with uh, two forms of identification for themselves and anybody else that will be using the food in their home. So kids or, or um, sometimes we have adults living with us, our parents or whatever. So ID for them and proof that you're in Southern Winnebago County because that's where most of the funding is coming from. So we want to make sure that people are staying in this area. And after that, it's it's that's it. It's pretty simple. And then you've got the point system. Um, there are maybe a couple other resources that people are able to take advantage of. I mean, uh, we walked in and there was a little bit of a presentation going on while, right. while people were waiting for you to open. Uh, what other kinds of things are available for people here? So right now what you are seeing is UW Extension coming in 
in doing a, a food program so people can understand maybe how to stretch their food dollar and some of the things that they can use in the pantry to make meals. We also have a cooking class that we're offering to adults and to children. So cool. Yep, and so it's chocolate cupcakes, but the healthy way. So we're really excited to present that. And so those are some of the other options that we have here. But we'll also make referrals for people who need a rent assistance, if they need gas vouchers or those types of things. Oh, wow. We are here to make recommendations of where they might be able to get that kind of assistance as well. Wow. So a lot of different resources yes. here. It's not just a pantry for you to come and get your groceries. There's just so much more to That's offer. That's correct. Uh, and you know that beautiful kitchen that you were just showing us too yes. with the, the cooking classes. It's just awesome. So yes. props to you guys. I Thank mean, you. it's just awesome. Um, for people who are interested in volunteering and helping out or donating, uh, what do they have to do to do that? Oh, it's very simple. We have a website. It's uh, www.oacptoday.org. Wonderful. Um, and then any phone numbers or anything that people can call if they want to volunteer, or is that all just through the website? Please. Through the website yes. is probably the easiest, and that way we can track it, and the application is right online, and it's, it's easier that way. Excellent. Um, as far as donations go, I know a lot of people tend to need certain things more than others. So mm -hmm. maybe you have kind of, kind of a wish list that you can give us for people. Sure. Probably the most expensive things that we would have to purchase here are going to be like your canned meats and those types of things. Um, so the tunas and the chickens and, and uh, salmon if we can because fish is really nutritious and we don't get enough of it here. So those types of things are really important. Cereal, very expensive but very important. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, and you know, money too. If people want to make a monetary donation, absolutely, uh, it gives you guys the freedom to, to find and go out and get what you need. Well, here's the unique thing about offering dollars is that we can buy five pounds of food for every dollar you donate. Where if you go to the grocery store, you're going to pay a dollar fifty nine per pound. Mm -hmm. So we can buy five times or more groceries um, by a financial donation than if you were to go to the grocery store and drop some food off. Is there any kind of financial donation on the website that people can do? Yes, we actually offer PayPal, so they can go ahead and use the PayPal, or they can just drop a check in the mail. Oh. We'll take it that way, too. How easy is that? That is very easy. You don't even have to carry a heavy bag. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Terry, what's it been like for you working here? Um, you know, seeing people come in and out and maybe changing their habits and things like that. Uh, how has your experience been here? It has been truly a life-changing experience, and, I, and I'm serious about that. We see folks come through here that peek in the door and don't, don't want to come in here because this is the hardest thing they've ever had to do to becoming good friends with that person and seeing them not have to ever come back here again that is an amazing um, change in someone's life when you can see them come in and then never have to use it again it's just, that's what we're here and that's for. really your mission that is what we're yes. here for one more time for our viewers if you could do uh, the website for, for sure. more information it's www.oactoday.org Wonderful. Well, Terry, thank you so much again for having us out here. It was great to get a look, a look around here yes. and see all of the different things Anytime. that you guys offer. We invite the public to come in and take a tour as well. We'll give yes. them the five-minute tour and they can and check it out. Awesome. Well, thanks again, Terry, and sure. best of luck to you this thank summer. Thank you.